It looks like we're going to have football in the NAIA, and even though the players want to play in NCAA Division I, we may or may not yet have football in the NCAA. That's today on Midwest Sportsnet. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching this channel. If you enjoy the content, please do consider liking and sharing the video, and please do subscribe to the channel, Midwest Sportsnet. Well, there was an uprising, at least on social media, on Sunday, and it was started by Trevor Lawrence. The Clemson quarterback took to social media on Sunday afternoon after it looked like that the Big Ten was going to announce on Sunday, at some point in time, maybe late in the evening, that it was going to be canceling the 2020 football season. Lawrence tweeted that simple hashtag, we want to play. Well, it did take off. It took a little bit to get started. A number of other folks picked up on it. And then he also posted some of the reasons that he wanted to play. Others picked up on it. Some of the national sports media reluctantly picked up on it. And it gained steam over the course of the afternoon and into the evening with many other Division I football student athletes in the NCAA also posting with the hashtag, we want to play and describing their reasons for that as well. There was no announcement from the Big Ten on Sunday, although word leaked out on Monday that it is still very likely that the conference will cancel the 2020 fall schedule. Word is that it is a 12-2 vote from the Big Ten presidents with Nebraska and Iowa being the schools that are voting in favor of having a season in 2020. Another thing from Nebraska that took place on Monday is that head coach Scott Frost held a press conference for nearly an hour talking about the benefits of playing the 2020 fall football schedule and football in general. He talked about the positives, gave the pros, gave the cons, specifically mentioned the economic hit that places like Lincoln and other cities around America will take this fall if there is no college football and also mention the toll that it would take both physically and emotionally, mentally as well, on the student-athletes if they're not allowed to play. He talked about the fact that they were likely in a better position to stay safe from the coronavirus because they would be tested more regularly in this, uh, not really a bubble, but the, the place where they would be on campus and within the athletic department. Now, it is still very likely that the Big Ten will announce on Tuesday now that it is canceling this, this season. The conference has given off the idea that it wanted to be the first of the Power Five conferences to cancel the 2020 season. It's also given off the idea that it did not want to be alone and has been looking to see if there are other of the Power Five conferences that are going to cancel this season as well. We will wait and find out what happens again. An announcement is expected on Tuesday from the Big Ten canceling the season. Well, that is one national affiliation in the NCAA. The NAI, however, is giving conference autonomy to uh, its conferences, football playing conferences specifically, as to whether or not they do want to play football in the fall. Now, the NAI last week moved the national fall sports championships to the spring. But football has the opportunity and the option to play the sport in the fall and still have a championship in the spring. And a number of conferences, specifically here in the Midwest, like the KCAC, the GPAC, the Heart of America, have decided they want to go ahead with the season as scheduled. The KCAC Board of Presidents on Monday afternoon announced an approval of a schedule change, which would allow for the season to take place in the fall as scheduled it's a round-robin schedule for the 11 football-playing teams in the KCAC. They would therefore have a 10-game schedule. The first eight weeks would get started on September 12th, as per the NAI guidelines that were given back on July 1st, and practice could begin as soon as August 15th. That would be this Saturday. Now, September 12th being the first game of the season, eight weeks, which would end on October 31st, the KCAC schools would be playing over that eight-week stretch, either seven or eight games, depending upon when the bye week falls. If a game or more than one game has to be rescheduled, postponed, then the weeks of November 7th, 14th, and 21st, those Saturdays, would be available for the postponement of a game. If no games have to be postponed, then the remaining portion of the 10-game schedule would be played in the fall. If those weeks of November 7th, 14th, and 21st have to be used for 
rescheduled games, then the remainder of the 2020, now 2021 football schedule would take place in the spring. And of course, then the NAI would have its national championship. We'll see how this turns out and we'll continue to update. But from the NAI, this may be your source of college football for the fall of 2020. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching here on Midwest Sportsnet. Again, please do subscribe to the channel. God bless you and have a great day.